What's up everybody? Welcome to an adventure. And I can actually say that this time. We're going on an adventure. We're gonna we're gonna do a little off pavement. We're gonna do uh we're gonna do a real adventure. Based on the title, you already kind of know uh what we're doing, where we're going. I have a general outline of uh what I want to do today. So without further ado, let's get to it. I know I was getting kind of sick of just filming videos uh, right along Lake Michigan. So I figure I had a day, an opportunity to get out for an entire day. So we're gonna see how far I can go. But yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with, uh, with this footage driving west, but here we go. One eternity later. All right guys, I am pretty exhausted to be honest. <laughs> uh, I need to ride more. I've been riding, let's see, this is, uh, let's say, two hours and 39 minutes. So yeah, my butt's sore. I'm ready to get off the bike. I'm hungry, I'm hangry. So I might stop, grab some food, and then uh, grab some gas, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, let's see, there's gotta be a place around here to get a bite to eat in this little town. Actually, I think I passed it. Let's, uh, we'll do a little Yui, a little Yui action here. Nick's Cafe. No parking to it. Hey, all right. Look at this. Front row parking. Let's do this. Boom. All right, guys. That uh, the breakfast was okay. It was okay. I love biscuits and gravy. And man, I swear. Any restaurant you go to, not any, I mean, I've, I have a hard time finding good biscuits and gravy. I don't know what it is. It's like most places just use that like fake powder gravy mix and then there's hardly any sausage in it. It's a damn shame. But anyway, we're gonna fly over to the next town. Uh, we're gonna get some gas there and then kind of decide uh, what we're gonna do. All right. All right, guys, we got gas. We drained the main vein. And we're ready to put some more miles on. Oh. Oh. I guess that's one way to do it, right? So I have a GPX file for the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail. So we're going to follow that for a bit. And I know there was uh, there's a little bit of off-road, some dirt road uh, towards the beginning of the trail. So we're going to do that. And another thing, guys. I'm, I'm going to preface this whole thing by saying, again, I don't know if you watched any of my other videos. I don't do off-road. This is the first bike, like dual sport, adventure, touring, anything I've ever ridden. I grew up riding sport bikes. It's what I've rode for the past 20 years. So if you see me going like five miles an hour down a dirt road, don't hose me. <laughs> oh, dude, already? This is, this is how timid I am. Already I'm like tensed up and like super tight. Like I could just feel my whole body is like, like super tight. Uh, gravel, scary, boo, scary. Don't crash. And well, that was short lived. Whew. All right, here we go. We're off on some proper, proper off roading now. Oh snap, water crossing. <laughs> oh dude, I know I right. I know that's probably like nothing to a lot of you guys and you're like noob. Dude, that's exciting for me. <laughs> Loving it. Alright, I'm about to turn this. Let's let's stop. Let's see if we can get this traction control turned off. Put it in neutral. I think you're supposed to hold it. Let's see, there we go, TCS off. Boom, nailed it. All right, let's roll. Oh, 
And again, too, I don't know when I should be standing up, when I should be sitting down. This is a learning experience. We're going to learn together. But hey, I got crash bars, skid plate, and health insurance, so we're good to go. Yeah, I slowed down to like 15 around that corner, don't judge me. Alright, I gotta jump off quick. Turn this off. Alright. And I think my battery on my GoPro is about to die. So, I'm probably gonna shut her down. And then once I get into the next town, I'll throw a new battery in there and then we'll be good to go. All right, let's do that. <laughs> All right, I think we're in. We're only like, I don't know, maybe, I think it was another 15 minutes down the road from when I turned you guys off. Uh, we're in a little town. I think it's called Glen Haven. So as you can see, not, uh, not a whole heck of a lot going on down here. I think this town has seen better days. Yeah, I know I turn my head a lot when I pull up to stop signs. I've had a few people tell me, like, dude, stop turning your head so much into videos. Dude, safety first, man. Safety first. Just trying to make sure I'm not going to get hit. I'm sure these people probably get sick of bikes riding around here all the time, though. Coming through their quiet little town. There it is. And you can't see it again. Womp womp. All right, there we go, some gravel again. Yeah, there's like a little rock overhang that's coming up pretty soon. A little photo op. Everybody takes pictures, right? That's one of those where like, if you're in any Facebook groups or anything, everybody posts a picture, like, guess where I am? I know where you're at, bro, I've been there. I'm still gonna take a picture of those. First time I've been out on the bike. Don't judge me. God, I wish I had some roads like this close to home. Just, you know, I don't know. It sucks that you gotta ride three hours to get to something like this. Look at me, slowing way down, sketchy. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh god. Even though I sound like I'm joking, that was probably like sheer terror right there coming up to that corner. I just gotta get used to how she acts. Alright, here's our overhang. We're gonna jump off, take a picture. I was thinking I'm gonna roll by and there's gonna be somebody like sleeping in there sometime. Or like a bear. I'd poop, I'd poop my pants. If I came through and saw a bear, oh, I don't even think I'm gonna, not even gonna take my helmet off. Let's do a quick picture, right? Quick picture for the gram. I wish I could make like a Polaroid sound. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. All right, we got our map back up. Okay, we're on our way. But you know, it's like one of those things. It's like you came all the way, all the way out here just for a stupid picture to prove you were out here, right? And then you're gonna post it on all your social medias so you can get some imaginary props. So anyway, I think, you know, there's another trail I thought about hitting uh, on the way back. And I was talking to a buddy about it. And apparently it takes about three hours one way. So what I might do is once I get back to a little, oh God, washboard, a little, uh, uh, once I get back to like a main road, I might start making a beeline back to, uh, I think the city is Mineral Point. And the trail is called Tri Cheese County Trail, or Tri County Cheese Trail. And that trail goes from, I think Mineral Point, I think the city is Mineral Point, all the way to Monroe. And it goes through three counties, ha! Tri County Trail, Cheese Trail. So, my thought is, if I get back to a main road after this little bit and just make a beeline to Mineral Point, by the trail pass, jump on the trail, I can kind of work my way back. That might be my best bet. That way I'm able to still get in some trails. All right, so I know I said I was going to go to Mineral Point, but, you know, I just came too far. I came too far. Not, not to show you guys this. So I had a quick, I did a UE. I started heading that way. I did a UE. And, uh... Oh, jeez, God, dude, pay attention, dude. Oh, my God, the ground is, like, super soft. Hopefully, my kickstand holds.
just looked on the maps it looks like we're about an hour from uh, mineral point so it's about quarter after noon right now so it'll put us there quarter after one like yeah it might be we might be able to make this work we might be able to make this work we'll uh head there a little over an hour to get there is what google is saying we might be able to make it a little bit quicker uh and then through the magic of uh editing here we go a few inches later Oh, all right, I lied. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm trying to back up a little bit. Oh, come on, dude. Part of the game, right? Gonna have a muddy bike. Yeah, this is pretty cool, right? And it's all muddy. Do I want to even do that? I don't think so. Now I gotta back up this. Oh, dude. What a bad idea this was. Oh, God. Oh, man. I think I'm a big dude. Oh my god, that was a terrible, oh, terrible idea. Dude, I'm like, I'm kind of wrecked after that. Moving on. Poor, poor decision making. Oh god, dude, this thing's heavy. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, through the ma magic of video editing. Uh, All right, we are in Mineral Point, population 2487. So we're looking for this. Uh, I think it's a liquor store. It's like a cheese and liquor store. And apparently that's where you can buy your Tri-County Cheese County Trail Pass. God, I don't think I could do it, man. I don't think I could live in a little town like this. For anybody that does, if you're watching this, I'm not dogging you, but... Dude, I don't know how the hell you do it. There's like nothing around here. You got like a gas station and a general store. That's like it. Oh, what do we got here? Five Point Cheese Store. It says, come in, we're open. Ooh. Dude, this is like a ghost town. There's like nobody here. It's crazy. There's a couple cars. All right, anyway, I'm going to run in here. I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, well, that was a swing and a miss. I lied. Maybe I will hose you guys a little bit if you live in a small town like this. Dude, why don't you take credit cards? Like, come on. Corner store? They sell everything. Cheese? Beer? Those are your basic food groups. And they don't accept credit cards. Come on. So now we're going to go down uh, to another place in town. That apparently sells these uh, Cheese County Trail Passes as well. So hopefully they take credit cards. All right. This will swing in here. Hopefully we'll have some better luck. All right, let's try this out. All right, mission success. We got a cheese pass. God, what a ordeal. All right, so where do we pick this thing up? I think it might be right here. This looks like it, Cheese County Trail. All right, here we go. Well, I guess I'll tell you right now, I mean, if this is what the trail is going to be like the entire time, I don't know how long I'm going to last. I might just try to jump back on one of the roads and skedaddle. Bridges are pretty cool, though. You know, I might have to come back out here now that I got this uh, trail pass <coughs> and try to run this again. But right now I'm stuck behind a couple of uh, four-wheelers and I think maybe a side-by-side. -side. And I can't see anything. I'm just like riding in dust. Uh, it's really not, not much fun, if I'm being honest. If there was nobody in front of me and I could just kind of bomb the trail, it'd be a good time. But running it blind like this, and I, don't, I don't really have time to sit and wait and give them a bunch of room. So I think probably what's going to end up happening is the next time that uh, I hit a side street or something, I'm probably going to dip off at a gas station and then start heading home and ride another day. One hour later. 
Well, I made it to a gas station and the bike is completely covered in dust, as am I. Kind of ridiculous. So yeah, this should be super fun to clean. Really looking forward to that. Just looked on Google. We got about a two and a half hour ride home. So I think we're just gonna hit it. It's about uh, 2.30. That'll put me home at about five o'clock. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Really, uh, I really appreciate it, man. Truly, I do. I know my uh, subscriber count, you know, it's steadily increasing. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Having said that, bye!